Okay, so uh, in this video we're going to add a glow to the big planet material to make it look like that's got an atmosphere. And then we're going to add a bump map to this material as well to make it look like the mountains and clouds are actually doing something. So we're going to start with going into the hypershade. There it is. Make sure you've got your big planet um, material selected. And then within that, you're looking for this bit here that's a special effect. So you'll have to scroll down a little bit. But there it is. And we're going to set the glow intensity to 0.2. And it's that that is going to add this glow effect. So if we just try and do a render of that to make sure that that's worked. Uh, we'll wait a standard 20 minutes for this, this laptop to, to render it. Come on. Come on. Here we go, so we can see the inside of the room is rendering, we've still got the moody lighting. The glass is still see-through, that's always a good sign. Yep. Come on, I want to see the planet, render that bit, don't leave it with weird blue unrenderedness. Oh, that looks good. So you can now see how the light's hitting it, but it's creating around it this glow effect, which looks like um, an atmosphere. So, so far so good. Right, next, we're all about the um, bump map. Right, so we're going to do that in the hypershade. So, this fella here, right, what we're going to do is, in the work area, we're going to press A, so that we can see everything. Although, that's not showing everything. So, before you press A, right click on this and then click on graph network or release on graph network and that'll show everything it's this file 11 we want and the important thing now to turn this into a bump map is to click and drag using the middle mouse button from here and then release on the big planet material up here and that gives you a context menu and it's all about um, making this image an input of this material and what we need to select is bump map which is right here there we go, and it gives us some um, some settings for that. So just to show you, if we leave the bump depth at um, one, how that looks. So I'll give that a render. Here we go. Okay, so you can see um, that just ridiculous. No planets that bumpy. Maybe somehow, but there you go. It's completely stupid so I'm not even going to let that finish rendering because I can tell that's wrong so you can just press escape to stop a render part way through so that's that's of no use to me at all that looks silly so we need to change the bump depth okay now um, 0.1 is nice and subtle I'm gonna go 0.2 so it's a little bit more obvious and then I'm gonna hit render again okay once it's done that is the end of this series on the basics of modeling, texturing, lighting and rendering in Maya. Um, the only thing we will do with this project from now on is animate, so we'll move on to animating the planets and animating a camera, um, which will make this look even sexier. Uh, but we'll just leave this with the bump mapping, the nice glow effect, and there you go. So that looks fairly nice. I'm actually going to change the bot mapping down to 0.1 because that's still too strong for my liking. Uh, but I won't bore you with that. So, um, I will see you in the next series of videos, which um, will hopefully be soon.